What's good, y'all? Jubal Ross back at again with another video. So, this Survivor Series will go down as one of the most memorable Survivor Series we've had in quite some time. We've had multiple returns from this show. Our truth came back. People love our truth, so it's good to see him back. Randy Orton came back, which we all knew. And of course, the biggest surprise of them all, CM Punk coming back to WWE as a whole. Mind blowing. With all these, you know, returns of these WWE stars, it has opened the floodgates for conversations of what's going to happen for WrestleMania season. Our next pay-per-view or ple whichever you want to call it will be the royal rumble next year and next year's royal rumble is going to be very interesting and must see because there are multiple options of individuals that could actually win the royal rumble this year and i think fans wouldn't have a problem with it last year it was kind of obvious that cody was going to win it they did uh, make Gunther look like a megastar in that match. This year, it's not cut and dry. It is not just a simple, or oh, it's going to be one person, it's going to be Cody or wh whoever it may be. With the addition of CM Punk and Randy Orton, things can change up. Storylines can definitely be rearranged now. And it feels good to not really have a clear, concise idea of who's going to win and i've seen a lot of conversations of people already building up potential matches for wrestlemania 40 next year and the card that they've already built up actually seems viable and actually worth watching the most consistent things i've seen is obviously seth rollins versus CM Punk night one for the World Heavyweight Championship. CM Punk has never main, main evented a WrestleMania and I think that would be something that he would want to do if he ever came back to WWE. I mean, that was one of his gripes before he left, so now that he is back, I would think that would be something that he would definitely want to be a part of to main event a WrestleMania. And night one would be a, a, a pretty big night considering Seth Rollins and CM Punk have had their words um and you know there's there's some real tension there it's not they're not friends they're not really cool with each other so that storytelling right there could be something epic I've seen a lot of conversations about that I've seen a lot of conversations obviously that maybe um Cody Rose will still main event night two with Roman Reigns but you also have to take into consideration that The Rock did come back earlier this year and there have been discussions and talks about him wanting maybe potentially to main event uh, night two with Roman Reigns if, you know, if everything aligned up correctly, that could happen. And I don't think anyone would necessarily trip, but we would kind of, you know, I think a lot of us would kind of figure out how it would end because I don't see The Rock beating Roman Reigns but nevertheless that would still be a very huge mega match so that could be an option and then you also got to put into consideration Randy Orton Randy Orton's beef with Roman Reigns hell I, I I've seen someone say maybe at the Royal Rumble if Roman Reigns comes back for the Royal Rumble Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble they have beef they were supposed to have a match um I want to say it, it was, uh, I think it was supposed to have a match uh, right before he got injured um, and it never happened because he got injured and they they can go with the storyline of the bloodline injuring Randy Orton. So they were supposed to have a match, but it never played out. So that would be a great match to have Randy Orton trying to run his fade, get his get back, get his revenge on Roman Reigns. I think that would be, that could be a good one. You also got to put Gunther into the mix. Gunther is built, has been built up as this dominant threat. So maybe Gunther wants a chance at the World Heavyweight Championship. You know, that could be something interesting, a story that can tell too. And with CM Punk being into the mix, you know, that could cause some conflict too. Like, you know, he's, he's back to, you know, be a champion. And Gunther could be standing in his way. So you have these other storylines that could 
really cause some conflict for certain wrestlers and, and individuals going into the Royal Rumble and coming out of the Royal Rumble, going into the Elimination Chamber and right back door, you know, back door into the rest uh, WrestleMania as a whole. So they have plenty of options. And it's one of those things where it's like, even if some of these matches don't happen at WrestleMania, we can still look forward to seeing a potential CM Punk and and uh, Roman Reigns feud after WrestleMania. I don't think that's going to happen at this year's WrestleMania, but I do feel like they will have a run in because CM Punk is cool with Paul Heyman and that dynamic itself is that's money. So it, it's it's really it's really opened up the floodgates of great possibilities. We can't forget about LA Knight, one of the hottest stars in WWE. And a lot of these people are going to converge in this Royal Rumble. And I do think this is going to be a must-see Royal Rumble because once again, like I said earlier, we don't know who's going to win. This is, this is really one of those situations you have no idea. LA Knight definitely has to be in the mix. I know I've seen a lot of people saying LA Knight versus Logan Paul for the United States Championship at WrestleMania. That sounds fantastic. He, Larry Knight didn't get a WrestleMania moment last year. I think he deserves one. And him winning the United States Championship will be a great moment for him. And I do think him and LA Knight, I mean, LA Knight and uh, Logan Paul will have a great match. The back and forth promos is going to be entertaining. So, but of course, him being in the Royal Rumble match, I can see him being in the match. I do think that interaction when they have that standoff between LA Knight and CM Punk or, you know, LA Knight and maybe a Gunther, you know, or Seth Rollins. Like, there's going to be so many options or LA Knight standing off against Randy Orton. This is what wrestling is really all about. And then we can't even forget about the Randy Orton and his storylines outside of Roman Reigns and the bloodline, his issues that he may have with Jay, that he does have with Jay, that he mentioned in Survivor Series and War Games. Like, I didn't forget. Or the history that Randy Orton and uh, Cody Rhodes have and their history and their backstory with him being in legacy at one point. So, and then you can even go with CM Punk and Cody Rhodes, their history of both leaving WWE, both going to AEW, and then them both coming back to WWE. This is, this is really good. And then, of course, Seth Rollins, his beef with um with CM Punk his issues he had in the past with Randy Orton his issues he had in the past with Cody Rhodes but what are we talking about this is great this is one of those things that I can honestly say it has changed the landscape of WWE especially going forward because we have so many options so many branching stories they're all going to potentially converge at the Royal Rumble next year that's going to lead into things into the Elimination Chamber and lead into things that's going to set up potentially one of the greatest WrestleMania cards of all time we have that many options and I had to make this video because I had to get this out because I've seen so much excitement of people already booking WrestleMania People are already, it's not even just people are focusing on who's going to dethrone Roman. The conversation has changed to who's going to match up against Roman. Who's going to match up against Seth Rollins. How things are going to happen. And that's what makes it so good. Because it's not just focusing on the main event. People are focusing on potential matchups just on the card itself. And that's just by adding back Randy Orton and CM Punk. You have so many branching storylines that you can create off of that and other opportunities and matches that we didn't think we would see. And it's it's great. This is this is the the power of having options, having legitimate superstars that you can build shows around. It's no longer just about Roman Reigns anymore. Even though yes, he's the big dog and he's the ultimate final boss. There are going to be other things that fans can really sink their teeth into. Not to say that that wasn't the case before Randy and CM Punk came back, but I do think 
it makes it, it adds more excitement to the overall product wrestlemania season for the first time in quite some time is is shaping up to be one of the greatest wrestlemania seasons leading into a great wrestlemania that we've seen in in a while and it feels good to see all this speculation from different fans wanting to see these dream matches and wanting to see these first time ever matches and wanting to see how people are going to interact with each other that's all i've seen on social media is who's going to interact with who who is CM Punk going to interact with? Who is Randy Orton going to interact with? Who is, you know, LA Knight going to interact with? And they're back and forth. There's so many superstars on the roster. It's it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It, 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 it's one of those things where you can say it feels good to be a WWE fan. And it's been pretty solid for the majority of the year. But what they did at Survivor Series, how they knocked it out the park, it feels real good knowing that next year's WrestleMania may be one of the best WrestleManias we've ever been, uh, uh, will ever get to see. And it just feels good to see the excitement in the wrestling community on just so many potential great matches. So comment down below. Let me know right now before we get into any build, before uh, we check out Monday Night Raw with CM Punk on it and and we start to get hints and seeds of where potential storylines are going right now. How would you book your WrestleMania card? WrestleMania 40, how would you book it? I want to see what matches you would have just right now. It doesn't have to be a full card, but some of the matches that you would love to see for WrestleMania 40, comment them down below. I want to see if we can have a discussion because some of you guys have come up with some great potential WrestleMania matches and I want to see some more of that, man. So I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on channel Road to 150K. And I'm still young speed of YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all getting with me. See y'all next one. Peace.